Hey everybody, this is Wonder Chef of Effort Art Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing a guide for Noob Saibot. Noob is one of the most misunderstood characters in the game. At first glance, it appears that all he can do is zone. However, he has many very cool aspects to his game that people don't use. First, let's talk about normals. One of Noob's most common chains is 2-1-2. The big advantage for this chain is that it's hit confirmable. As soon as you throw it out, you'll be able to see whether or not your opponent blocks it. If they don't block it, ideally you'll want to go 2-1-2 two, two, teleport into a combo. If they do block it, however, you'll have enough time to see that they do and cancel the chain into 2-1-2 two, two, down back 3. This will make the chain safe and apply some more pressure and chip to your opponent. Another commonly used chain by Noob Saibot is 1-2. This is a very good chain because it's very fast and moves him forward. Unfortunately it's duckable, so make sure not to spam it too much. Unfortunately there's no way to combo out of this move. As you can see those didn't connect. The best uses for this move are either to juggle people out of the air, or to simply poke them into a tick throw or another mix up. As you can see, the range is perfect. Noob Saibot's third most commonly used chain is his back 1 2 chain. This chain has two follow ups. The first follow up is back 1 2, then 1 4. Its second follow up is back 1 2, then forward and 4. The difference between these two chains is that the first one hits overhead on the third hit. As you can see it says medium. And the second one hits low on the third hit. As you can see it says low. This puts your opponent into a complete 50-50 guessing situation which is very very strong. Unfortunately, this move has a very very slow startup, so you're gonna, you have to abuse its long range. You can't combo after the low option, however, the overhead option leads to some of his most damaging combos. Noob Saibot's least used, but still useful chain is his forward 3-3-3. Three, three, three. This is a relatively fast move, and its biggest strength comes from the fact that it pulls you so far forward. There aren't too many ways to get large combos off of this. However, you can do a down back 3 after the second hit. In the corner this can lead to some large combos, but mid screen, not so much. However, that is safe. Use this string for pressure and footsies. Let's take a look at some of Noob Saibot's special moves. His first special move is his down forward 3, aka the running move. This is Noob Saibot's normal projectile. It's extremely good in the fact that it has a fast startup, fast movement, and your opponent cannot neutral duck it, meaning that they either have to block it, get hit by it, or jump it. Noob Saibot's second special move is his down back three, aka up kicks. This is one of the best special moves in the game. It leaves you at advantage on block, so you can cancel your normals into it to give you more pressure, it's a great anti-air, it has an extremely good vertical hitbox. And it's used in a lot of his combos, especially his corner combos. It has such fast recovery that even on whiff, a good amount of the time, your opponent will not be able to punish you. Noob Saibot's third special move is his down forward one, aka the disabled one. This is a unique projectile. It's rather slow, but on hit, it leaves your opponent in a state where they cannot block until they are hit by the next move. Combined with something such as X-Ray or Noob's strong array of projectiles, this can be pretty deadly, however it's pretty hard to land. Noob Saibot's next special move is his back forward 4, aka his slide. This is very similar to other characters' slides, however it's a projectile so it leaves him much much safer. This is the move you're going to want to use most of the time as your wake reversal, as it's the only one of his moves that's invincible for the complete amount of time until it hits the opponent. 
Noob Saibot's last special move is a very unique move, aka his portals. There are three inputs for the portals. Down, forward, two. That will drop an opponent, a portal behind the opponent, as you can see. Down, back, two will drop one directly on the opponent. And down, back, forward, two will... I'm sorry, down, forward, back, two will drop one directly on Noob Saibot. Now, whenever any of these hits, as you can see, it drops your opponent right in front of you, allowing you to do, get a juggle. There are many setups for these, however, I don't have time to go into them all. A very good one to start off with would be back 1 2 1 4 into a down forward 2. And then immediately throw a running man. It's very hard to escape, however, there are ways. Let's take a look at some of the ways that Noob Saibot can use meter. First, let's start with his EX moves. His EX Running Man is the same as his normal Running Man, however, it has one more hit on it and deals a little bit more damage. He punches him at the end. That only adds a little bit of damage and usually isn't worth your time. His EX Up Kick has a much larger hitbox and raises the opponent up much higher. It's a very good move because it covers a lot of space and really allows for some good combos afterwards. His EX Disabler causes the opponent to be confused. All of their inputs are backwards. It also still causes your opponent not to be able to not block, so it causes some really, really hectic situations. Very good if you can combo into it. His enhanced portal is faster and always drops directly on the opponent. It also allows you more time to combo them afterwards. His enhanced slide knocks them forward. The advantage is that your opponent does get knocked down and you do get a little bit of advantage on them. However, forward isn't always the place you want them to be with Noob. And lastly, his X-Ray. His X-Ray is very, very strong. It's one, in my opinion, one of the best in the game. It does have the option to hit full screen. Here, let's look at it. As you can see, it hits for 36%, which is rather good for an X-Ray, especially one that goes full screen. Most characters with full screen X-Rays, such as Scorpion or Reptile or Jade, they only hit for around 30%. So his is rather strong. Let's take a look at some basic bread and butters. Mid screen, he only really has two options for bread and butters. He can do back one two one four into teleport. For twenty two percent. Or he can do two one two teleport. For twenty percent. As you can see, Noob Saibot doesn't have very strong combo damage, so you're going to have to use other ways to get damage off. In the corner, Noob Saibot does have some rather strong combos. Here's an example of one of his corner meterless combos. As you can see, it ends up at 38%, rather strong. Now for the most important part of this video, strategy. 99% of the time, when you fight a noob, I'm sure he's on the other side of the screen throwing projectiles at you. This is a relatively strong strategy, and noob does have some of the best zoning in the game. Let's start here. First of all, if you hit a running man from full screen, your opponent has no option but to block the next running man coming at him. If he tries to jump out, if he tries to crouch, or do most wake up attacks, he'll be hit. A lot of times you can catch people with that trap. Aside from that, zoning is rather simple. Wait for fireballs, hit him with a teleport on reaction. Wait for jumps, hit him with an up, up kick. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. However, what I'd really like to talk about right now is the other aspect of Noob's game, which is his rushdown. Now in this game there are many, many characters with anti-zoning tools. For instance, Smoke comes to mind first, Sectors teleports, 
Scarlet's teleports. There, there are lots of characters who have really great tools against zoning. So, a lot of people think that Noob has no option in that matchup. However, he does. Noob does have some pretty strong mid-range game. Now, when I'm talking about mid-range, I'm talking about right about here, right about where you guys start from each other. Uh, Noob does have problems when he gets right up in close because he's only he's only good in almost there, or either his one, which would be one-two chain, or his down one or down three. Even his uppercut's rather, rather slow. But in this range, Noob has a really, really strong game. As I said earlier, his normals, such as his back one and his forward three, they have really, really good range. So most of the time, it's really hard for your opponent to get in unless they jump. And then, of course, you have one of the strongest anti in the game and safest. So if you can get used to your normals and walk around them, play some footsies with that extremely long range move and the mix ups right there, so good. Noob can do some rushdown. On top of those normals, he has some really, really good options with setups off of two things. A, his throw, and B, his teleport. Let's start with the throw. Of course, as I said earlier, 1-2 is a really good chain. If you hit him with 1-2, they have to guess you can do 1-2 again, or you can throw. And off the throw is where the stuff really begins. As you can see, the throw leaves me at a relatively good advantage and a pretty interesting range, as I'm about to show you. So the first setup off of a throw is pretty simple, the one you should do most of the time. Just follow it up with the running move. That forces your opponent to block. Now once you've accustomed them to doing that, there are a lot of tricky options. You can go throw, and then dash up and throw again. And you can see there's a lot of range on that throw. Or you can throw, and then dash up and then do back one two chain. That's a pretty pretty good range on that, so they can't really poke you out of that. And of course there's always, you know, throw and sweep, for instance. There, now they have to block low. So that's a pretty tricky throw. Whether you want to rush them down or you want to, you know, get away from them further, it, it has some really great setups. Now the other one that starts setups are his Teleslam. This pretty much leaves, gives you the same setups that throw does. You know, for instance, you can dash up and throw afterwards. You can do his back one and two chain just from there. You can throw a shadow clone. So either one of these leave your opponent in a really hard to guess situation. Overall, Noob Saibot is a character with a lot of tools. He has very good zoning. He has at least average rushdown. And he has some of the best specials and normals in the game. At first glance, a lot of people can think that he's a very simple character, however he is quite complex. If you do plan on using Noob, you're going to have to spend a lot of time getting used to his normals and his options. He's a character who's very, very much based on footsies and zoning. You're going to have to have very strong fundamentals for this character, especially because his damage is so low. However, if you do get used to his options, you'll find that he's a character who has the tools to deal with almost any situation. I find that there are very few matchups that are one-sided against Noob, if any. So keep practicing with him, and hopefully you guys will have fun with such an interesting character. I find that he's one of the coolest characters in the game, both visually and playstyle wise. Thank you for watching, and hopefully this has improved your game. See you next time.